Well, this is your on the water pro tip for a late day when you don't want to waste a bunch of time. I am leaving on a charter at 10. It's only like 8.30 now. But my pro tip is, as usual, forget about going and getting the live bait. You can waste a ton of time. Here's a cigar minnow. This is what I use when I go offshore and do with some trolling for king mackerel. Staple of the industry, good old cigar minnow. These have been brined before. I've got a whole bunch in salt water right here. And what you always want is to select ones to use that don't have big cuts in the belly or anything. And I make up this solution and I started out using rock salt, but this is the solution that I'm using right now. It's fine, fine grained, non uh, iodine salt. I can't even remember where I found it. I think I just found it at Wally's World. And what I do is I mix it with baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. And what that does, supposedly, from my research, is it keeps your color and everything on your base. This is made commercially, but you can make up your own. I've had this thing was full, and what I do is I get some, lots of noise here at the boat ramp. I get lots of, I get a bucket of salt water here, and I put, I don't know, probably six ounces of this in it, make it ultra salty, and I mix it up, and then on the way to the first spot, I soak my cigar minnows in it. So, when you're breaking up your cigar minnows, you want to do this. Just like this. See how I'm pushing on them? I may have mentioned this in a video before. Okay. You want to break up his bones without breaking the skin. And what that does is it makes him wag and troll real good. And what you have to do is you have to find the correct speed. Okay. You just kind of manipulate them like this. Now I'm putting these on a double hook kingfish rig with a weighted front and it works for me. See how bendable he is? And let me show you the kingfish rig and how I hook them up. This just works for me. I'm not saying you gotta go do it. I brine them on the way to the spot, first thing in the morning here. I don't have to waste time looking for bait. I'm doing a half day trip this morning and we can't even leave till 10 a.m. So let me show you. This is kind of a cigar, small cigar minnow. This is a baby cigar minnow. That's a big one. All right, so let me show you how I hook them up. All right, well here is, put these back in the brine. Close this lid because I'm getting waked to death here, sitting at the dock. Here is my standard kingfish rig. Now I showed in previous videos two different styles of kingfish rigs. The multi-strand and the single strand. I pretty much am old school and prefer, there's all my king mackerel rigs, all pre-made. This is how we do it around here. This is how everybody pretty much does it. I've got a tube full of weights. These are one ounce weights. I drill out the back. I think I already mentioned this in prior videos, but if you haven't seen it, then that's the reason I'm doing it. All right, so then here is my King Mackerel rig. 
it's a 40 pound or 45 pound single strand wire copper bronze colored right you've got a number four treble here and a number four treble there and what I do is keeping with my motto of keeping everything super simple I got about a two foot long leader and what I do is I take this end I thread it through there on the wire notice there's no swivel on there no swivel the swivel is kept on the line on the rod and the reel this comes down and locks in there I keep a pack of swivels right here as extras and I will do the haywire twist onto the swivel when I'm getting ready to use this okay that is the haywire twist I have other videos I'll put them in the links below of how to do the haywire twist and the multi strand cable okay but for hooking up purposes let's put a cigar minnow on okay, let's take a medium sized cigar minnow kind of hard to find a medium here here's a medium there's a medium sized cigar minnow after I break them up and you can pre-do this, just like I'm doing it right now, when you're sitting at the dock, waiting on your fishing crew to show up. You want to break his backbone. You want to go down here and pop any bones here in his caudal type fins that are kind of hard. I go right behind his gill, and I push there, and then I squeeze in and break break up the rib cage there's one little bone right there that's kind of a pointy little bone you do not want to let that break the skin and I push that down then when I go to rig them up I simply want to see where the cigar minnow or the stinger hook here the stinger is what we call it where that will lay so then I want to lay on the bottom be able to be free swinging I'll take them and I'll pin them on so the hook goes through the hard top of the head as centered as I can get see that try to get no shadows in there centered these two hooks here now are under his under its chin this hook is swinging I'm bringing it back usually from the little anal cavity is just behind that this is a little long I get a little overzealous sometimes making them but then this will slide down it's not necessarily chin weighted a real chin weight down here would be a whole lot better there's a whole million ways of doing it and that is now how I'm trolling my cigar minnows and I vary my speed I go fast I go slow I slow down I let them sink and I'm always trolling these of course on double downriggers so there's a little on the water pre-trip tip brine break up the scar minnow and my single strand kingfish rig so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one